Hey y'all, it is day seven of our fast and what an exciting time for us to get together and really talk about the sacrifice and really to talk about uh, the commitment that even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had for us so that we can live. Our text today comes from Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 14, verses 1 through 27. And what a wonderful story of how Jesus is getting ready to go through Passover and also getting ready to be betrayed by Judas. But with, within this wonderful story, we find a woman who has given everything to the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. A woman with an alabaster box. She cracks the alabaster box and she pours oil over Jesus' head and pours over his body. And she gets ridiculed for the sacrifice that she has made. How often do we do things in life where we get ridiculed for the sacrifices that we make? How often do we get criticized from those who are looking from the outside for the things that we do for Christ? And that's important for us to read, and I want to encourage you to read this whole passage of scripture as it walks through the final days of, of Jesus on this earth. But it's so often that we are to sacrifice what we have, the gifts, the talents, our finances, our energy, our physical being back to the Lord. It doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter what it looks like to others. It is our sacrifice to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that makes a difference. Too often we get caught up in what's going on. We get caught up in, you know, about life situations and circumstances. But we cannot get caught up in what's going on but caught up in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what our sacrifice is back to him. You know, throughout this scripture, we even see that Judas betrays Jesus. How often do people betray you? How often when you put yourself out, when you give all that you have given and that you're fulfilling the destiny that God has given you to provide to this world and you always have a Judas in your life. Don't worry about the Judas because your Judas might be the one that helps you get to your destiny. So today as we fast, I want you to just think about those couple of things. The woman who gave her all, she gave the sacrifice. Also think about the Judases in your life. When you make those sacrifices for people, when you're giving everything you have, when you're, you're pouring out the destiny that God's given you, but you still are betrayed. That's what this fast is about, reflecting. Reflecting on your past, reflecting on where you come from, and reflecting um, on where God is going to take you in the future. So I love you all today. And remember to make sure to read this passage, Mark chapter 14, verses 1 through 27, which reads and talks about the life of Jesus, and how we are to pour out everything that we have and not worry about what others are saying, not worry about what people think about what we're doing. And even when we have Judases in our life, we are still supposed to continue the destiny that God has commanded. And even through those Judas situations also, it might be to complete the destiny that you have within you. Be blessed on today, it's day seven. Stay focused. And remember to always keep God first. Pray sincerely, pray honestly, and make sure that you're doing everything to fulfill the destiny that God has given you in your life. May you have a blessed and good evening.